you may be asked a question what are the common scenarios in which the grand total does not equal the sum of the rows in both the countable and summable measure so basically countable measures mean when you are performing count distinct count summable measures mean summing up the values that's the intended meaning here the common scenarios for this discrepancy are as follows power bi recalculates the grand total in the case of a distinct count the grand total might not be the same as the sum of the row values of distinct count there might be values that repeat for rows that will get excluded from grand total so total might not match when you use measure with row context or time intelligence time intelligence formulas often utilize row context which can lead to differences if you have a formula like column equal to max of column which uses row context the grand total calculation will not have access to the same row context resulting in a mismatch between the grand total and the sum of your rows to address these scenarios you can use the sumx function in combination with values or summarize to handle such situations by using sumx along with values and summarize you ensure that the row context is maintained for the calculation of grand total this helps in matching the grand totals with the total of the rows in this manner you can answer this question